Hi, I'm Tom Watkins, um, President of McMurray Hatchery. I'm Bud Wood. I'm co-owner of the hatchery with Tom Watkins. Avian influenza is carried by migrating birds. And if you watch the news, you probably have heard there are barns all over the United States breaking of avian influenza. On Friday, we had a situation. We were notified by our flock owner of increased mortality. And um, we contacted the state right away and started the avian influenza protocol, which included getting tests and sending representatives from the state to the farm and to the hatchery. We've been coordinating with the state and their response to this has been very professional, very quick. We ended up with a positive test. The farm itself has been quarantined. The, uh, the hatchery itself has been cleared because of our biosecurity practices and the heat of incubation and the low likelihood of it actually infecting an egg. Um, we are cleared to ship, so we have no issues, issues with that. Though this happened to be our largest farm, um, we had a number of very rare breeds that don't exist functionally anywhere else in the United States in some parts of part of the world. So our, our number one priority was saving these genetic lines and the genetic diversity involved in that. Um, our number two priority is contacting our customers and reassuring them that we are doing everything we can um, to continue to fulfill their orders, but also to continue to keep them safe and the rest of our lines safe as well. That's uh, that is key, and really just want to reassure people that there is, it is still okay to get chickens, and none of the other fowl are affected. So we're going to continue to ship as directed by the USDA and the state of Iowa. And that will affect you as a customer because we just won't have the birds to ship. One of our first priorities is to save the breeders, save these lines that could be 100 years old. So the first thing we're going to do is pull breeders from these hatches so that next year you'll be able to order and in future years you'll be able to order. Um, you will be contacted and you will have three options. Um, the, the first option is to mute, change your order to breeds that we have available and you'll get a new ship date and we'll ship them as fast as we can. Um, you can ask for your order to be transferred to next year and we will place the order for you and uh, we'll work with you on selecting a date and we can ship the order just as you had previously entered it. Or the last option is you can cancel your order and we'll uh, refund your money or we can hold it on account so that you can order next year. This is kind of a teamwork here is that we're going to send you chicks as quick as we can but you also have to be aware that in your area avian influenza could be in the wild. So Practice high biosecurity, uh, especially in early spring when the migration is going on, that uh, your chicks aren't exposed to um, outside wild birds or um, that you don't track things, especially uh, manure from wild birds into your barn and affect your birds. It's, uh, you know, when working with the state, they. Um they were really adamant on how prevalent this is across the nation. It is in half of the states currently. It's on every continent. It is um, worldwide affecting. So, like I said, we need to be a team and practice good biosecurity at home, just like we do at the hatchery, uh, and okay. keep keep our birds safe. Uh, I want to thank everybody for their time and um, we appreciate the patience that is is going to be needed in this this is a pretty difficult time for us and it will be for our customers and, and the, all the people involved in the hatchery here as well um, so thank you